Hello guys and welcome back to CEBOX tutorial channel and this is our situation number 18 from C board exam May 2022 for structural engineering and construction but before we start to solve this problem please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel so the figure shown is a portable seat subjected to a load P which is equivalent to 2100 kN and is braced by a cable FG Coefficient of friction at D and E is 0.20, H1 is 0.5, H2 0.25, H3 0.25, X1 is 0.60, X2 and X3 are both 0.45 meters. So, sulat natin mga given, H1 is 0.5 meters, H2 is 0.25, H3 is 0.25 then, X2 ay 0.45 x3 is 0.45 and x1 is 0.60 meters. Tapos yung ating P ay 2,1. Okay. So number 1, determine the reaction at C. So yung C kasi dito nakapatong lang. Tapos yung ating A ay pin. Okay. Pin connection yan. So pwede natin i-isolate yung ating member AC. At AC... So, this is pin. Tapos, ito yung ating AC. Actually, lumabas na rin ito nung, ano, nung CE board exam. May, uh, may ba siya? Yes, May 2015. Ayan. So, kung pin to, dalawa to na, ano, na reaction. This is AV. Ah, okay, so, connection kasi siya, no? So, kasi ako, pag ginagawa ko, or kapag connection kasi, ang ginagawa ko, kulay blue yung reaction niya. Ayan. So, this is AV and this is AH. Tapos sa C, connection pa rin yan actually, pero nakapatong, no? So, that, that is ano, uh, roller connection, no? So, this is CV. Ayan. Tapos, ito yung ating 2,100 kN na ang distance sa A ay 0.60. Tapos, ang distance ng A to C is yung x1 plus x2 which is 0.90 meters. Ayan. So, this is A and C. So, masob na natin yung reaction agad sa C. Hindi ba? So, by summation of moment at A is equivalent to 0, clockwise is positive. Ito na lang. Ayan. So, negative CV multiplied by 0.90 then, yung ating 2,1 is equal ng clockwise. So, positive 2,1 multiplied by 0.60 is equivalent to 0. So, negative CB multiplied by 0.90 plus 2,1 multiplied by 0.6 is equivalent to 0. So, 1,4. So, 1,4 ang ating CB. Hindi na natin kailangan ng ano to ba? Ng direction kasi connection reaction naman siya. So, okay na yan. Kasi kapag pinunta natin yung ating reaction na CB or AB or AH sa iba pang member, mag-opposite kasi sila or i-reciprocate natin yung kanilang mga direction. So, dito, hindi na natin kailangan. Pero, of course, kailangan na alam pa rin natin kung anong tamang direction ng ating CB at a certain or at a specific member. Kasi sa member AC, ang CB natin ay upward. Okay, so number 2, determine the tensile force in cable FG. Ito. So dito pwede tayo pumili, uh, kasi ikakat natin yung, ano, eh, yung ating FG. Ikakat natin yan. So pwede sa member, DF, uh, member DFBC or member ABGE. Pero kapag pinili nyo kasi yung member ABGE, kailangan pang isolve yung reaction sa A. Eh, since nasolve na natin yung reaction, or connection reaction sa C. So, doon na lang tayo sa member na to na CBFD. So, this is for number 1. So, number 2, at member DFBC. Ayan. So, sa ating D, ito ay ano eh, um, Yes, nakapatong lang siya so, sa smooth surface lang yan. So, ibig sabihin, ang kanyang reaction dyan is perpendicular sa surface. 
horizontal ang ating surface, kaya ang kanyang reaction ay upward, vertically. So, this is Rd. Kaso, may sinabi kasi rito na coefficient of friction. Eh, tandaan nyo ba ang ano, friction? Kapag kasi meron tayong coefficient of friction, ibig sabihin meron tayong ano, frictional force. So, yung ating frictional force F is equivalent to coefficient of friction multiplied by the normal force N. And in this case, ang ating normal force N is yung ating reaction na RD. So, gawin natin to as ND. So, ngayon, meron tayong coefficient of or frictional force F. So, horizontal yun kasi ito, ano to eh, uh, horizontal yung ating ano, uh, surface. So, ang mangyari kasi dito, yung ating member, uh, DFBC, ay magmumove papunta rito, sa left. Ito naman, yung ating member, ABGE, is papunta sa right. So, since papunta sa left yung ating member na to, meaning, ang ating frictional force ay i-resist yun, okay? Or isasagot yun. Okay, para ma-delay yung ating uh, force dito. Okay? So, ito yung ating frictional force. Yan. So, ito yung ating FD. Yan. Tapos, meron tayong uh, tensile force sa cable. Ilagay natin dito yung cable. Uh, wait lang. Ito yung ating B. Yan. Tapos, ito yung ating cable. Tapos, ito yung kanyang tensile force. FG. Tapos, meron din tayo, of course, na connection reaction sa B. So, let's say this is PB. Ah, yes. Nakapin yan, ha? Okay. Medyo malit lang yung drawing. Sorry. And this is our BH. Tapos sa CB, since upward dito at napatunay naman natin na tama yung kanyang uh, direction, so dito niyan sa ano, DFBC, magiging na ngayong downward. Ang ating CB is 1,4 kilo newton. Then, pakita natin lahat ng mga dimensions. So, this is 0.5 meters, 0.25 meters, 0.25 meters, tapos yung, vertical dist ay, yung horizontal distance is 0.45 meters. And this is D, F, and C. So, ang daming unknown. Okay, ang daming unknown. B, 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 H, F, G, N, D, N, F, D. So, pag nag-moment tayo sa D, maraming magiging ano, tatlo. Pag nag-moment tayo sa B, ganun pa rin, tatlo. Okay? So, ano ba mas maganda rito? Ang maganda rito is isolve muna natin yung reaction natin sa D at a whole structure. So, at whole structure, ayan, mag-moment tayo sa E para makuha natin yung ating ND. Ayan. Um, ito, meron tayong NE. Tapos, meron rin siyang frictional force. Sabihin natin ito ay FE. Tapos, ito naman yung ating FD. So, wala tayong problema sa FD and FE kasi dadaan naman sila dito no, sa E. Diba? So, zero moment effect yan. So, mga solve na natin ng ND. Pero, by, ano, by inspection, no? Hmm. Ah, yes. By inspection, ng ating ND is equivalent to AB which is yung matitirang uh, magre-react para kay 2-1. So, since ang ating 1-4 is, I mean, since ang ating CB is 1-4, therefore, ang ating NE is 1-4 din. Kaya, by summation of forces, vertical is equivalent to 0, upward is positive, ang ating ND is equivalent to what? Oh, sige, pakita natin solution. ND then minus 2-1, tapos ang ating NE is equivalent to 1-4. So, plus 1, 4 is equivalent to 0. So, ilan yan? So, paras ko lang na, ano, transpose silang dalawa, no? So, 700 kilonewton. Yan. So, ngayon, makukuha natin yung ating frictional force FD. Ang ating FT is equivalent to coefficient of friction na 0.20 multiplied by 700. So, this is 140 kilo newton. So, ngayon, pwede na tayong mag-moment sa B para makuha yung FG. 
So, summation of moment at B is equivalent to 0. Clockwise is positive. Ang FG iikot ng counterclockwise, so negative FG, multiplied by 0.25. Tapos yung ND iikot ng clockwise, so plus uh, 700 multiplied by, okay, ilan ba to? Nasa gitna ang, ano, ang F, okay, between D and B kasi, Yung ating H2 and H3 equal. Okay? 3.25 sila. So, ibig sabihin, ang ating F ay nasa gitna. Kaya, kakalatiin lang din natin yung ating 0.45. So, ilan ba yun? 0.45 divided by 2... 0.225. Ay, wait lang. Uh, yes, pala no. ND pala no. So, tama. Kalahati ng 0.45 is 0.225. Yan. Tapos, FD iikot ng counterclockwise. So, negative FD, which is 140, multiplied by 0.5. Okay, tapos yung ating FD iikot ng counterclockwise sa B. So, that is negative 140 multiplied by 2.25. So, that is 0.50. Ano pang iikot sa B? Yung CB natin. That is clockwise. So, plus 1.4 multiplied by kalahati ng 0.45. That is 0.225. Then, equivalent to 0. So, double check natin. Um, FG... 700, 140, and 1,4. Ayan. So, makukuha na natin yung ating FG. Ayan. So, may mali tayo rito, no? Hindi pala ito 0.45. It should be 0.90. Nakalimutan natin siya. Ayan. So, ito nyan is 0.90 meters. Ah, hindi. I mean, kabuan. Okay? 0.90. So, this is 0.45. 0.45. So, papatan lang natin to yung ano, yung ating 700 saka itong 1.4. Ayan. So, tig 0.45 kasi sila. So, 0.45. Okay. So, isolve natin yung FG. So, negative FG multiplied by 0.25. Then, uh, plus 700, yung ating ND, multiplied by 0.45. Then, minus, kasi yung ating FD is pa counter So, 140 multiplied by 0.5. Then, plus 1.4 multiplied by 0.45. Then, equivalent to 0. Then, so, 3.5. Ang ating FG ay 3,500 kilo newton. Ngayon, ang sagot ay 1,540 kasi based sa reference na nakita ko, hindi yata niya na-consider yung 1,4. Tapos, yung kanyang FD is nakadirect uh, or directed ng to the left. So, check natin. Uh, disregard natin yung 1,4. Then, ito FD. Tapos, ND lang ang i-consider na. So, ang ating FD na 140 is clockwise. Then, multiplied by 0.5. Then, uh, ND na 700 multiplied by 0.45. Then, FG. Then, multiplied by 0.25. Then, wala yung ano, 1.4. Ang sagot ay 15.40. Ayan. Anyway, uh, we're not sure about the direction of FT kasi na ganito na to the left. Kasi, kung titignan natin, ang frictional force kasi is against sa uh, magiging motion nung ano, nung isang member. For example, di ba, ito yung mga blocks. Kung itutulak natin yung ating block na pa ganito, let's say force P, ibig sabihin, ang magiging movement niya or motion is to the right. Kaya, yung ating frictional force magiging directed to the left. Bakit? Kasi, yung ating frictional force, siya yung nagpapos ng delay dun sa motion or nagpapos ng pagbawas dun sa ating applied force, dun sa isang rigid body. Kaya, kung ang ating, ano, uh, CV rito is paganto, ibig sabihin, yung ating motion para sa ating member na to ay paganito. Diba? Ayan, gaganyan siya. Ayan. So, ang motion niya ay papunta sa left. 
Kaya dapat yung ating force or frictional force FD is dapat to the right. Ayan. So, we think naman na ito yung uh, tamang ano uh, concept about the friction. Ayan. Next, determine the reaction at D. Ayan. So, kung reaction at D naman ang pinapahanap, simple lang yan. Uh, kukunin lang natin yung kanyang resultant. Ayan. So, this is RD. And we can solve RD by simple Pythagorean theorem. That is square root of uh, ND na 700 squared plus 140 squared. So, ito yung ating RD. So, uh, square root of 700 squared plus 140 squared. So, 713.863. Kilo newton and ang kanyang direction is upward to the right upward to the right syempre inad natin yung direction kasi ito ay support reaction sinasuportahan niya na yung buong structure hindi naman siya uh, connection lamang okay ayan so paki double check na lamang yung solution natin dito sa ano sa number 2 kasi sa pagkakaalam talaga namin dapat yung ating frictional forces against dun sa motion na magiging uh, yes yung magiging motion ng ating rigid body Ayan. So, this is our situation number 18 from C board exam, May 2022, for structural engineering and construction. So, if you learned and enjoyed this uh, video tutorial of C box channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications and updates on our YouTube channel. So, thank you for watching. Bye.